What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. All of the emails that get sent to the contact us former Techno Buffalo, they all come to me and I read them all personally. Uh, one of the questions that I'm getting more than any other is what I want to talk a bit about today. Let's go ahead and get started. So I get some variation of this comment you know, close to 100 times per day. John, when is my phone getting the update? They're always an Android device. When is my HTC status getting upgraded to Jelly Bean? When is my X phone getting ICS? When is blank getting blank? And these questions keep coming over and over and over again. And I found myself sending the same answer to people, so I thought I'd share it on video. And the answer is very simple, and you might not like it. When you buy a phone, you're stuck with it for generally a two-year contract. Don't buy a phone based on what future updates might be. Buy a phone based on what it has the day you buy it. Chances are you might not get an upgrade, you might not get an upgrade for a very long time. If you want to get a Galaxy S3, get it because you like what the phone has on it right now. You're okay with ice cream sandwich. You like the amount of RAM, you like the screen, be okay with the operating system. You want to get a 1X, be okay with the 1X as is. Because chances are you might not get the upgrade when you want. By the time you might get Jelly Bean, a neck might have key lime pie, or whatever they decide to call it, might be coming out. You're always going to be one to two versions behind. That's just the reality of Android. That's uh, fault of perhaps a lot of people, but it's not as easy as Google releasing it and the manufacturer putting it on the device. They have to deal with skinning, got to go through carrier testing, and then it can finally get pushed out. That takes a very, very, very long time. But there's one caveat to that. If you want to be guaranteed to get at least one to two updates, you want to pick yourself up a Nexus branded device. That's really the only way you can be guaranteed to get at least one to two operating system updates when they get announced or at least close to it. Uh, so if that's really important to you, you want to make sure you always have the latest and greatest OS, only buy a Nexus device. It makes it very simple. Walk into your Verizon store, your Sprint store, or order an unlocked device if you're on GSM carrier and you're all set, you'll get the new update. If it ships with ice cream sandwich, you're going to get jelly bean. If it ships with jelly bean, you're going to get key lime pie. If it ships with key lime pie, what, get, what comes next is your K. L. You get lima bean, the delicious dessert. Whatever comes next, at least you'll have those updates. So the moral here is be happy with the phone that you have when you buy it. Don't complain that you're not going to get the upgrades, but at least be an educated consumer and know that you might not get those upgrades. Buy the phone you want. Buy the phone that's what you want the day that you buy it because you might not see anything else change from it. Uh, if you want the updates as well and you sort of get annoyed, uh, iOS is another way to go. There's only really one phone out, so Apple makes sure those phones generally get updates when new OS versions come out. If you want to stick with Android though, Nexus is going to be the only way to go. Uh, I thought this would help answer some confusion and help offer some buyer advice to those of you guys that are looking to get a new phone. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. I'll see you in the next video.